What's up guys, this is Joe from GGD Support and Prism Recordings. Today I'm just making a little video to show you how to download our MIDI packs and then I'm going to show you how to install them into the Groove Player in Modern and Massive and then how to export them from there into your door so you can have a play with them. As you can see I'm using Logic Pro, don't worry if you're using a different piece of software because the same techniques will work for any door. Once you purchase one of the MIDI packs from our website, you'll be sent a confirmation email. In this email will feature uh, your serial number, instructions on how to download and install the MIDI pack, and also some links to download our Connect program, which is what we use to download all the software. So copy the serial number and open up Connect. Now, if you've uh, downloaded one of our products before, you might have a serial number up in this top bar. To get rid of that, just highlight it with your mouse and click backspace and that's gonna get rid of it for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste my serial number into here and click download. Once you've done that, it's probably gonna ask you where you wanna download it to. For the sake of the video, I've just made a little folder on the desktop. So let's say open into there. It's gonna go and download the pack for you, which shouldn't take too long. Once the download is complete, you might get this pop-up saying your product has successfully installed. Would you like to delete all the archive raw zip files? Go ahead and click yes. And then now we can see we've got that downloaded. There we go. The Vortec MIDI pack. Okay, so what do we do from now? To get it to show up in Modern and Massive, what we want to do is copy this where it says the Vortec MIDI pack. Make sure to copy the folder with the name on, so it might be the Halpern or the Anoop pack. Uh, don't copy where it says MIDI files. Don't copy where it says Modern and Massive make sure you're copying this one. Don't copy the one with all these bits in. We want the one with the name. From there, go into your modern and massive installation folder. Uh, it should look like this, just two neat folders, modern and massive, and then the TCIs we supply also. Go into modern and massive, and inside there will be a MIDI files folder. Go into there, and as you can see, I've got the helper and a nuke packs already in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the Vortec pack in with it. So that should be done. Go into Modern and Massive. As I already had it open, you might think, oh, it's not there. Do not fret. Just reopen it. Thank you. Whoa, we got the mini pack. Alrighty. So once we have the pack installed and it's showing up in Modern and Massive, we can go into it and see what some of the MIDI packs sound like. So click on the MIDI pack and then it's gonna open up this part in the groove window. This is basically showing all the different songs we have. Each song is intended to sort of have a different feel for you, a different flavor, so there's lots to choose from. Let's look at song seven. These are all the individual MIDI files that you can take and drag into your door to write to. To preview one of them, you just double click it. Okay, what about song four? Okay, so one thing to note is that the BPMs here show what the original file was recorded at and perhaps what they were intended to be played back at. Uh, no matter what it says here, at least in Logic, it's going to play back at the tempo of your session. So even though it says that's 80 BPM there, it is actually playing back at 120. So if you want to hear the intended tempo, simply change that to 80 and then let's play it again. Obviously a completely different feel. I really like that, so let's load it into our door. To do that, it's super simple. All you gotta do is load it into Modern and Massive, and then come down to this export button, click, hold, and drag. Now you'll see that we've got a little box there. That means it is carrying it. And then you just drop it into your door. Once you've dragged it into your door, you can obviously then go and do whatever you want with it. Say you wanna go in and change one of these to a tom, you can do that. So these are just really great inspiration points for you to dive in and immediately start writing music. Or say 
you've written this really sick riff and you want some drums to go with it. You can then just go through Modern and Massive, previewing all of them with the riff, saying that one sounds sick, load it into your door and then make any little adjustments you need to to make it fit even better. So that pretty much sums it up. If you've got any uh, questions or queries, either drop a comment below or hit us up on the website and I will get back to you through the support system. Thanks for watching guys, I hope it was informative and uh, yeah, write some sick music.